Good morning, sunshine. February 14th, 2016, a beautiful Sunday morning. A lot of folks have been writing and asking me how come I haven't uh, done any snowpack videos yet this year in 2016. And the reason was I've been hanging on waiting to see what the much ballyhooed El Nino was going to do for us, whether it would be our savior or our demise. And there's some indication now of which way that's going. So it's time to do the first snow run of the season. We're at Georgetown Airport, 38 nautical miles northeast of Sacramento at an elevation of 2,600 feet. And we'll be taking out straight out over the American River, River Canyon. We'll go up the hill and have a look at the basically the same area that I looked at uh, last year at this time when there was essentially no snow on the ground. So, here we go. This is always an interesting uh, takeoff here at uh, Georgetown in as much as the runway drops right out over the American River Canyon and if you lose power there is absolutely no safe place to set down. And I did have that sinking feeling one time coming out of here when I lost partial power but I was able to make it back to the runway. Anyway, here we go up the hill. Okay, we're climbing through uh, 6,700 feet uh, on our way up the hill to the snow area. And while we're doing that, while we're climbing here, let's answer that burning question, what has El Nino done for us? The answer, unfortunately, is not much yet. We're two-thirds of the way through our rainfall season, and here's the way it stands right now. Rainfall in most areas is either around normal or slightly below normal. The snowpack uh, was up to 120% of normal or average, but we are now in a two-week dry spell, very warm and dry, and the snowpack has dropped down to about 96 to 98% of normal uh, statewide measurement. So uh, we did get some uh, early rainfall and snow, but it wasn't torrential uh, El Nino induced storms that we would normally expect. And now they have essentially disappeared. So we have about a month and a half or two months left in the rainy season. And we'll see if El Nino uh, will come on in a late start and give us what we need to fill our reservoirs back up and replenish the uh, snowpack so that it'll keep the reservoirs full for a year at least. Okay, let's go on up the hill. We're 7,000 climbing now. Also starting to get a little bit gnarly as it always does this time of day. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, <clears throat> there we are at uh, 9,200 feet. Uh, you can see some frozen lakes below us, some snow. And at 12 o'clock ahead of us, you can see uh, calm and serene Lake Tahoe at 6,400 feet. We'll head over to the uh, north, east a ways here, and check out some of the ski areas. As you can see, the snowpack is getting pretty skinny in many areas with uh, south-facing aspects. 
and that's because of this two-week spell we've had of uh, uh, exceptionally warm temperatures, a lot of sun, and no further rain or snow. Okay, we're coming up on some of the ski areas here. Some of the ski areas have had up to uh, 200 or more inches already this winter, but uh, that's only about average. And now, as I said, we're in this dry spell, and uh, we need some further moisture really bad. 9,500 feet, and we're gonna call it a day from going any higher or going over any more mountains because there's some pretty nasty turbulence right on top here today. And there's a few little ants going down the hills there. But even at the highest elevations, you can see there's quite a bit of bare rocks and bare areas.